I was really pissed that everyone criticized me about cutting my hair. In response to the criticism, I decided to do a tribute to women who have either lost their hair or decided to just cut their hair. I really primarily focus on women and imagery and dispelling the myth of a beauty standard. Hi, my name is Alicia Cunningham, and I am the filmmaker, photographer, and the artist of I Am More Than My Hair exhibit at Sandy Spring Museum. I Am More Than My Hair is a collection of images I photographed. In total, it was about 64 women and girls who have lost their hair due to a health-related condition. And it also includes images of women who cut the hair in solidarity of a loved one. The book includes the images of each person and then the story of how they lost their hair. What I really wanted to do was educate people about alopecia, which means hair loss. The exhibit does have the accessibility component, so when you scan the QR code that's on the story with your phone, you can hear the story. Some women were able to participate, some was just the audio describer that told their story and the description of the image. So as you feel the lithophane, which is a 3D relief print, it's the exact replica of the photograph, but it's a raised relief so that you can feel the textures and you can kind of feel the shape of what the image looks like as the audio describer is telling you what the image looks like or what the woman is doing in the picture, what's her background. You can use the audio pen and go through each uh, image description and it'll tell you the same that's in the story that's accompanying the images. I really just wanted to show that despite what we see in the media, because I know there's a lot on, on makeup and beauty and texture and skin color, everything, I just wanted to show that with or without hair, you know, that we're still beautiful and to, sh and to prove it, which was triggered for me really just being mad, you know, by the response. So that's, that's how it came about. I'm Samantha Reeve. I've been with Re3D almost three years. Well, first of all, a lithophane is a very thin object. Um, it needs to be thin such that the light can transmit through the object uh, because the thicker sections appear as dark and the thinner sections appear as light, so you get a grayscale image. Um, but that requires the whole part to be very thin and very precise. And so Gigabot was a good printer for this because the size of the print it was able to accommodate that and the extra bracing needed to get a good print. Each lithophane was a fairly long print. They were each about three days long. Re3D has a nice large print farm. Uh, our available printers can range anywhere from eight to usually just over a dozen. Uh, while all, some of those printers are specialized to do certain things like print from pellets or print with really large nozzles, uh, we were able to change out nozzles and change around prints so that we could put all these lithophanes on as many printers as possible to meet the tight deadline. Uh, so originally Alicia didn't know what she wanted to print. She had the pictures and she had a vision, but she didn't know much about manufacturing and was very much looking for guidance. It was nice to be able to help her just take that vision and interpret it into manufacturing terms.